Hi boys and girls, hope you're all okay. So today we're looking at multiplying decimals and we're only going to be focusing on the powers of 10. So we're just to remind us that the powers of 10 are 10, 100, 1000, 1000. And then you could have 10,000, you could have 100,000, and then a million. But we're only looking at these three. Okay, so let's create a number. Let's have 3.14. Okay, so we need our three. And where will the three go? It will go in our ones column. Then put in our decimal point, 3.14, okay? So we've now got 3.14 and let's choose a power of 10 to multiply by. So the first one we're going to do is multiply by 10. Okay, so if it's multiplying by 10, it is only going to get, it's going to get bigger because we're multiplying and it's going to get bigger by one place value. So instead of, if it's getting bigger, will my numbers go this way or that way if we're multiplying? Super, they're going to go this way, they're going to get bigger. So our three, which was in the ones column, is now going to become 30. Okay? Our one tenth is going to get bigger by a ten, so it moves one place to the left. So it now goes in our ones column, and our four hundredths is getting one place is getting a is getting ten times bigger, so it moves one place to the left. So our new answer is thirty one point four. 31.4, so 3.14 times 10 equals 31.4. Okay, next one. So let's put these back really quick. Okay, if we did the number 9.5. Nine point seven two, and we're going to multiply it by ten again. So I want you to think of your answer. So let's make it. Where will this nine go? If it's nine point seven two, it's going to go in our ones column, and then seven is going to go in our tens, and our two is going in our hundred. Okay, like we've just said, if we're multiplying by 10, we're getting one bigger. We're going one step to the left. So our nine, where will my nine go if we're getting one place bigger? Super, it's gonna go in our tens. Our seven is going to go in our ones. So can you see it's not the decimal point moving, it's our numbers, it's our values, and our two, will go in our tenths. So 9.72 times 10 equals 97.2. Good. All right, let's do another one. Let's see if we can do 45 point zero three five okay so we're going to times this again by 10 so we've got 45 so let's put them in the correct columns again year five we've got 40 45 point Zero three five. Okay, so if we're getting bigger again by ten, so it's only getting bigger by one by one place to the left when we move all the digits, where will this four go? 
which column will this four now go in? So if it's in the tens now, and we're moving it one place to the left, it's now going to go in our hundreds column. Our five, which was in the ones, is now going to go in our tens. Our zero, so this at the minute still is our placeholder, but we can't get rid of it. We've got to carry it along with us because it's holding place. It's going to go into our zero, it's going to go into the ones. Our three, also our three hundredths, move in one place, it'll go into our tenths. And our five thousandths will now go into our hundredths column. Okay, so I hope multiplying by ten shows us that we're only moving one place to the left. Okay, let's see if we can see a pattern here, guys. This is not working out very well. Okay, so let's think of another number. Let's have 77.46, and we're going to times it by 100 now. So we've got 7.46, okay, 7.46, and if we're timesing it by 100, can you see it's got two zeros, so this time instead of moving it one place like the 10, we're going to move it two places to the left. So our values are getting a hundred times bigger. So this seven that is in the ones column now, if we're moving it two places, so we're getting a hundred times bigger, seven times a hundred we know is 700. So this needs to now go in our hundredths column. Okay, this four tenths, if we move it to here, that's 10. And now this is a hundred times bigger. Our six hundredths, we're times in it by 10, times in it by 100. So we're getting bigger by moving them two places to the left. So 7.46 times by 100 equals 746. Notice now how all our values are before the decimal point, so we don't need to put anything in these boxes. Okay? Right, next one. If we do seven point five times by a hundred, so let's put our values back in. We've got seven point five. Okay, so if we've just said it's a hundred times in by a hundred. We're going to move our values two places to the left. So this seven that is in our ones is going 10 and 100. So our seven is now 700. Our five, that's in the 10, so we're going one step, two step. So we've got bigger by 100 here. So is that my answer now? If I've just got 75? No, because you can see our ones column has now got no digit in. So we always need to keep that filled if it's empty. If we've got a 750, we need to add our placeholder back in. So 7.5 times by 100 equals 750. Right, next one. Going to do one more. And then we're going to move on to a thousand. So let's do three thirty-one point six two times by a hundred. Actually, let's do thirty-one point six two. Let's add that four in. So let's create it. We've got thirty. One, so we've got to make sure they're in the correct places here, if I put them in the right column, 31.624. Okay, 
So if we're multiplying by 100, what happens to my values? They're all going to go to places to the left. So let's see where this 3 will end up. So we've got 30 times by 10 would equal 300 times by 100 makes it 3,000. So 30 times by 100 equals 3,000. We've got 1, moving it two places, so 10, 100, our 6, 1, 2, to give us that multiplying by 100, our 200 is going to, uh, to is is two twen is two tenths blah, 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 to go into our twos, and then our four we're going ten a hundred. So we're moving it two places. So who can now? Now it's hiding a little bit, but there we go. Who can tell me the answer to thirty one point six two four times by a hundred? So now we've moved all our places, all our digits two places to the left. Our new answer is. 3,162.4. Fantastic, year five. We are now, last one, going to look at multiplying by a thousand. So hopefully you've seen a pattern already now. So if this is one place to the left, this is two places to the left, what do we think a thousand will be? Any guesses? Fantastic. Three places. You got it. Okay, so let's have the number 7.9 times by a thousand. Okay, so put your digits in if you need. So we've got a 79 and we're times in by a thousand. So we've been moving it now three places to the left. So we can do ten, a hundred, thousand. So we're going ten, so we've passed the decimal point, a hundred, a thousand. Right, what do I now need? Fantastic, year five. I need my placeholders. Because you cannot have digits left. You cannot have any spaces. Now we've got 7.9 times 1,000 equals 7,900. Right, next one. So let's do 4.5. times it by a thousand. So we've got 4.492 times by a thousand. So we're moving it three places to the left. So we're going one, two, three. Pick up our tens. One, two, three. So we're moving it three places to the left. One, two, three. One, two, three. equals 4,492 because we're moving it three places to the left. We are not moving the decimal point, we are moving the values. And let's do one more just for luck. So let's start with zero point one three. Okay, so we've got 0 0.136 times by a thousand. So we know it's moving three places to the left. So where will this zero now go? It's going one, two, three. 
move in the tens column, so it's going to from the ones to the tens to the hundreds. Now move our hundreds, we're going to the tenths, to the ones, to the tenths. So can you see we're moving them three places and our six thousandths is going to the hundreds, to the tenths, to the ones. So our answer, because remember this zero isn't helping us anymore now, so our answer equals 136. Okay, so I want you to have a go in your maths pack, answer those questions, and if you need us, give us a message on Skype.